Hello, my name is Todd Strother, and I'm a scientist at Thermal Fisher Scientific in Madison, Wisconsin. And today I would like to demonstrate to you the SPECAC Mini Filmmaker and the Thermo Scientific Nicolay IS5 spectrometer. Today our goal is to analyze films made by the SPECAC Filmmaker and then placed into the IS5 spectrometer. The people who would use these devices would be QA, QC people looking at polymer analysis as well as researchers who might be looking at additives be, to be used in polymers. So let's go ahead and look a little closer at the instruments. This is the Mini Filmmaker Press, which is heated to right now 200 degrees. And here is the temperature controller that controls the temperature of the, of the accessory. We have various uh, rings and platens to help make the press, as well as some foils. And then when we make, make the film, we place it in the ID1 accessory that is uh, added on top of the IS5. Today, the polymer pellets we'll be analyzing will look just like this. So let's go ahead and get started with pressing the film. So when preparing the film, you lay the platens out and you select a ring that is correct for the thickness of the film that you want to make. There are four possibilities of thicknesses with the SPECAC mini film press. You can make a 50 micron film, a 100 micron film, a 250 micron film, or a 500 micron film. Today, we'll use the ring that has one mark on it, which is the thinnest film, the 50 micron film. The first thing you do is put the ring on the platen and then assemble the collar over the, the uh, ring. Then you can take a small film or small foil, place it on top of the platen, followed by your sample polymer pellet. Next, a larger foil will go on top of the polymer pellet, and then you'll place the top platen on top of the entire assembly. The entire assembly will then go into Filmmaker and then turn the top knob down to tighten it up. After several seconds, approximately 30 seconds to a minute, you can release the pressure from the front knob undo the top knob and the apparatus should be able to come out. Once the film is pressed, we take the apparatus out of the film maker and disassemble it. The film is pressed between the two foils. Once we remove the foil, you'll be able to recover the film. This film can then be placed in a card for analysis. We line the film up over the hole of the card and fold the card over. This film in the card is now ready to be analyzed on the IS-5 spectrometer. We place it into the ID-1 accessory, close the lid, and then start the analysis. With the film placed in the ID-1, the spectrum can be collected. We use our software called Omnic, where in just a few clicks, you can actually start collecting the infrared spectrum. Here you see the spectrum starting to come up. And in a few seconds, it'll be ready for analysis with the library search.
To do a library search, you go up to Analyze, go under where it says Library Setup, and then hit Search. Our libraries will tell you what the best match is for this particular spectrum. We can then be fairly sure that our material is actually polypropylene. And that's essentially all you need to do. So today's goals were to show you, demonstrate how to make a film using our film press and analyze that film on our IS-5 spectrometer. Thank you.